and welcome back. So in today's tutorial, we will be looking how we can display two columns in a reference tree. So as what is the advantage of the same? So for consider a scenario, you have a reference field, for example, a user table. Okay, uh, there is a field uh, which is referenced to a user table, and you have a, uh, multiple users with the same name, right? So it it will be difficult for you to distinguish, right, which particular user you want to assign the thing. So you can add one more column over there okay, to the reference only, which will be email ID, okay, which will give more idea about that user, and you can assign it to that particular person. I will I will show you the same okay and then we will see how we can implement it out for other use case of so let's quickly jump into incident dot two and it's applicable only to the reference field only so if we go over here right and as you know the contextual search starts when you type star or when you type initial letters. So over here you can see whenever we get the selection we get name and email ID. So these are the two columns in the reference. Pretty amazing, right? I I am not pretty sure that you have uh, paid attention to this particular details. Okay. Uh, and for an example, if if uh, Andrew if there are two, multiple users with the name Andrew, right? So it will be difficult for you to take a call which particular Andrew you want to assign the incident to. But if you have email ID whether it's then it, it gives more details, okay, and it, it makes it easy for you to assign it to that particular person. Now it's already being implemented out of the box on the user reference field. So let's try something different. So we will go to the change table. Why change table? Just because there it has number of reference fields. So definitely we will find some or other on top of it. So over here we have a model field. For example, let's see if model field has some record first of all. Mm -hmm. It's waiting. It's extracting some values out. Now it's settled down, I guess. So if I do star star, so we are getting, so it has values, right? So let's try to get more detail on top of it. For example, if I go over here, let's try what all information is present. So it's name and description. Let's, let's bring description. Let's see if all description is filled or not. Yeah, description is filled. So let's bring description with the field on the reference. So what do you have to do? It's pretty easy to implement. You have to just right click on the same configure dictionary. And over here you have an attribute called you have a field called attributes, right? So you have to add to the same. We will be adding certain attributes out. So the first and the foremost attribute will be ref underscore auto underscore complete equal to completer auto completer equal to ajax table ajax you have to be cautious whenever you are giving attributes, okay? Please. Completer. So what this particular first attribute does, okay? So you know, right? Uh, it will it will have an Ajax call to get the entire object of that particular reference. So for that, we use this particular attribute out. The next attribute in our list is ref underscore ac underscore column columns now you have to define which particular column you want to add on top of it so we want to add description so backend name definitely for every description is description only so we'll simply give it the guess so the first attribute 
the first attribute what it does it holds the entire object for the reference the second attribute is extract what particular field we want to extract to and attach to the reference or uh, display and the third is like when you give the star star right column search okay they should get visible so how we can do it's ref not red ref underscore ac underscore columns underscore search because it it will enable search equal to true we have to just make it true so we have added three attributes ref auto completer which is equal to ajax table completer ref ac columns which is equal to description and the field which you want to add and then ref ac columns search is we set it to true and we are done if it's not working that the only reason will be like i messed up some some of the text oh yeah so let's go back to the change request and now if i type star star it will take some time first some trust calls are getting health dashboard scans are happening and after that okay it's done now if i do star star now you can see with the emergency we got description with normal we got the description for the same so it's giving some more details about the reference so this is a, and it, i find it pretty helpful okay uh, whenever you you want to take a call and you need some additional information on top of it you can sp simply give it over there so this is all for today's tutorial hope you like it out okay if you like it out please subscribe to my channel so that you will be getting you will get notified with my future videos okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you